Another massive update yet again by Leonardo AI. And this one is actually a double drop because we also had one of the best, most requested updates come out as well. And it was character reference. The ability to finally create consistent characters is finally available. So if you haven't seen this video, make sure you definitely watch this one as well because it's gonna show you exactly how to do it. But for today, we're gonna go over their latest update and that is the new release of Image Gen V2. Leonardo AI, image generation interface has evolved and I love the new look and feel. It brings a smoother, more intuitive user experience. I'm going to show you all the new features. So with that said, let's go ahead and head over to Leonardo AI right now. And you could tell right off the bat, it does look a little bit different. Now, one thing as a reminder, if you don't quite like, or you're not used to this interface yet, this new one, you could still change things up and go over into the legacy mode. So up in the top right hand corner, I'm hovering over it right now. You could select this option to toggle legacy mode back on. And so if you're more comfortable using the old Leonardo AI, all you have to do is just flip this switch right here. However, once you get used to this new interface, I don't think you're gonna wanna change. Okay, so all of these new changes are gonna be over on the left-hand side. So you'll notice a little bit of a change and check this out. We'll start from the very top. The first thing you'll notice is preset, okay? The preset is gonna take the place of what used to be known as alchemy. So it's gonna maintain the same sort of functionality, but instead of being called alchemy, it's just simply called preset. When I click to expand this, you'll notice right away, it's going to open up this screen right here, which is pretty amazing because just from looking in here, these are completely new as well. For example, I haven't seen lifelike vision before. Okay. We have our anime one, cinematic Kino, and then concept art. That's new. And then also portrait, perfect stock photography, all these options. Pretty amazing. If I select on the left-hand side, so these are going to be all of my presets. Okay. However, you may be asking yourself, where are all the fine tune models. To find those on the left hand side, scroll down to where it says advanced settings. Okay. Click this arrow to expand the box. And now here are all of the fine tune models that you can choose from. So right now I'm in vision XL. Let's open this up and go to my favorite one, Albedo base XL. Okay. Oh, and before I forget, make sure you check the links in the description for the most amazing Leonardo AI prompts database, as well as thousands of prompts. Here are all of the most commonly used fine tune models that I use. Now, I'll go back to my favorite one. Now I have Albedo Base XL selected. And then again, from here, I can change my presets as well. Okay. I can also, below my advanced settings, toggle Photo Reel on as well as any negative prompts. If I toggle that negative prompt box on, you can see now up here at the top, I now have the option to type my negative prompt right here. So if you toggle that on, that is where it's now going to appear. I can also turn on transparency mode. Now, transparency mode is another sort of recent release that's gonna allow you the ability to generate transparent PNG images right off the bat, just simply with your prompt. You're not gonna have to use the remove background tool or do any sort of editing gymnastics to get a transparent background. Just simply toggle this on, it's gonna do it for you, okay? So going back up to the top, we'll also notice my styles. So we have the presets, but then below this, now we have all of our styles. So if I'm in lifelike vision right now, I'm in Albedo Base XL, now let's change up my style. Here's where those live, dynamic, 3D render, and as I scroll down, here are all of the other options I have. One of my favorites is dynamic, so I'm gonna leave it on that. And then you'll notice this next box. This is coming soon, and I think this is gonna be a very helpful option. We're gonna have the ability to change the contrast up. And then another new option right here, which might be one of my new favorites, generation mode. We can toggle between fast and quality. And so if you look at this, it says toggle between fast generations and slower quality generations. Quality is formally known as Alchemy V2. So that's important to keep in mind, okay? Quality is also known as Alchemy V2. So in my personal opinion, I will always operate with quality on, okay? And then we have image dimensions. Nothing's changing here. I can expand it by selecting this more button. And now I have more options over here that I can work with as far as the aspect ratio, okay? So this slider is really helpful because notice as I'm sliding it in real time, I can see my 
image dimensions literally changing and moving to show me exactly what sort of aspect ratio I'm selecting and what it's going to look like. And then below this, this is also helpful as well, especially if you want to create instant images for social media. We have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. If I select Facebook, it defaults to that. Same thing for Twitter and even Instagram. This will be extremely helpful for quick creations for specific social media accounts. And then below that, we have devices from desktop, mobile, TV, and Square. And then below this, cinema and wide. This is going to be amazing. Notice the difference up here at the top underneath the aspect ratio. Cinema. But now when I choose wide, look at the image dimensions. This is going to be perfect for like panoramic style images or those extra wide angles. I can't wait to use these more and more. And then again, we have our image resolution, okay? We can select our output size from low, medium, and then high. Amazing. And then again, back to over on the left-hand side, we have the number of images, okay? We can select anywhere between one and eight. And then right here, we have our private mode. I could select if I want my images to remain private or if I want them public. And then again, below that is gonna be all of the advanced settings, which we already briefly went over as well. Now, you may be asking yourself, where did some of the other tools go, like image guidance or even the elements? I'll show you that right now. But believe me, once you get used to this new interface and setup, you're gonna love it. So as far as image guidance is concerned, that could be located up here in the prompt box, right here. On the left-hand side, just select this button right here that looks like an import image button once that is selected here are all of our image guidance tools they appear right here from style reference the new character reference content reference and then I could select a view more and now they're all going to open up right here and what I love about this is that now I get a lot more details on what each of these can do so it's really a helpful guiding tool to allow me to understand what image to image can do versus content depth to image pose to image style character edge and then text to image so I love how it produces actual photos to give me a good visual idea of what these image guidance tools can actually do okay so back over here if I select this button again now same place below image guidance tools these are where all of our elements are now gonna live select a view more and then this box opens up and now I can have the option to select every element that I want to over here on the right hand side we used to have this amazing dice button that could either improve our prompt or generate a completely random and different one that has now moved over here to the right hand side okay it used to live over here where the image guidance tools and elements lived, now it's over here on the right hand side. Instead of being a pair of dice, now it takes on like this new magical sort of icon. If I select it, I can now generate a new random prompt, okay? It's getting to work, and then automatically there is my random prompt. Okay, let's just go ahead and generate that to see how good of a job it does. However, now I'll come back in here and I'll paste a completely different prompt up, select this button again, and now I'm gonna select improve prompt. Okay, now it's going to improve my prompt. It makes it even longer. Now select generate on this one. These are going to be our two prompt options right here. Okay, not bad. This is pretty cool. This little octopus is just my random one that I had generated from Leonardo. And listen, it is random, but it is pretty cool just to look at this. I like the way it turned out. Now let's scroll up. Here is my actual prompt that I just selected. Now notice this. On the left hand side, I did have transparency selected. That's amazing because look, if I open up these images right here, check this out if I download it it's hundred percent transparent it's gonna download as a PNG file same one with this it's a PNG file with a transparent background okay so now here it is I'm opening up my download there is this one and now here is this image here so I'm just over here in Canva very quickly just to show you guys how it's gonna look I'm clicking and bringing this image over here from Leonardo AI and if you notice it's already a PNG file so I don't need to convert it now here is my image PNG 100% transparent and regardless of whether I change up this rectangle right here to any color that I want, you can notice that since it's transparent, it's going to blend in perfectly well with these backgrounds right here, even with this gradient one. I don't think you could do a much better job than what Leonardo AI just did. But now what I want to do is come over here to my Leonardo AI mega prompts database. So if you don't have access to this database, I'll also include a link in my description so you can get access to this database as well. And right now it is already exceeding over 
over 1,000 prompts, and I have all different views on the left-hand side from cinematic style prompts to animated Pixar style prompts, scenic galleries with multiple options and views. If I just select a few of these, you could see everything that you could possibly need will be here in this database. You might not ever need prompts again, even prompt generators, which are gonna be prompts that actually generate prompts. And then one of my favorite things are gonna be over here in the unique keywords. And that's what we're gonna focus on right now when we use character reference, okay? Let's just open up this unique keyword right here. As you can see, all of these images, if I use this series of unique keywords, my images I get are gonna look exactly like this one, especially if I use this generation as far as Albedo Base XL and Dynamic, okay? So let's copy this whole entire prompt, go back over to Leonardo AI, and now type this prompt in, okay? Here it is typed in. Let me make sure all my settings are legit. I'm gonna go back to a 16.9 aspect ratio, but here's what we're gonna do now. Now I am going to open up image guidance and then select character reference, okay? Once it is open, I'm gonna go through some of my images and now create the same sort of character with the same face with a variety of different style of images. Let's just select this girl right here, select confirm. Now, that is who I wanna use as my character reference. Once I have it selected, here she is, hit this little drop down arrow up here in the top left hand corner. From here, this is where I could change low to mid to high. If I select high, that's where I'm telling Leonardo I want her face to highly resemble my image character reference. I'll select it as that. So here's what we're gonna do. Here's my prompt right here. Now I'm gonna change this up and I'm gonna say at the beach and I'll say with mountains in the background, similar to uh, Hawaii, okay? Now watch this, select generate here. So what I'll end up getting is an image that looks just like this one, same exact face since I have character reference on, but now my background will change up completely. While this is thinking, now watch this. I'm gonna change everything up by just typing in cyberpunk, nothing else. I'll now come over here to my presets, change this to anime, okay? Let's make an anime style woman, cyberpunk, and now select a generate on this one. But since I still have character reference chosen, my image will still reflect this woman's face. Let's just see what these can do for us. If you enjoy this content, please don't forget to subscribe. Now, as we're waiting on these images to be generated, there is one important thing I do wanna let you guys know about. Leonardo AI does state that a couple of features still aren't live in the new image gen V2 interface quite yet, but those features will be there pretty soon. So if you don't see something that you used to use, use, in this case, prompt generation. I noticed I haven't seen the prompt generation tool. That could be because it's still being updated and it should be there hopefully shortly. Okay, perfect. Now that we're back in Leonardo AI, let's look at the first set of images. And look, I got to tell you, man, this is amazing. It did all of these image perfect same exact face now however this time she's at the tropical beach at a setting that's similar to hawaii with those mountains in the background phenomenal job now we'll go up one more time same thing beautiful same exact character but now this time completely different anime style However, in a cyberpunk world, couldn't have done a better job. Okay, so there you have it. Another amazing update by Leonardo AI. So make sure, since there's so many updates being rapidly released by Leonardo and all the AI tools, make sure you also check out these two videos right here because it's gonna demonstrate everything you need to do in order to use all of these image guidance tools perfectly. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I love to also see some of your own personal generations in the comments. So if you can, share with me some some of your character reference images that you were able to generate. But thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. <laughs>